This newscast is brought to you by Miss Liberty, located at the foot of the village at Pine Knot Landing, your gateway to adventure in Big Bear Lake. Welcome to a special edition of ROTWnews.com, a look at what's happening in and around our mountain communities. California state budget cuts have engulfed the DC-10 air tanker based at California Logistics Airport in Victorville, according to CAL FIRE and 10 tanker air carrier operator of the modified jumbo jet. Prior to being eliminated from CAL FIRE's budget, the carrier had a three-year contract which called for a 120-day fire season at a cost of $7 million. A similar cut was made at 2009, but was later reinstated. The DC-10 can build a fire line three-quarters of a mile long and 50 feet wide and carries about 12,000 gallons of fire retardant. 10 Tanker Air Carrier Managing Partner Rick Hatton called the contract elimination penny-wise and pound-foolish. If the contract isn't reinstated, the two DC-10 aircraft in Victorville will probably be put in storage. The fourth annual Big Bear Lake Paddle Fest takes to the water this weekend with clinics and demonstrations on Saturday, July the 9th, and three races scheduled for Sunday, July the 10th. Clinics for beginner and advanced paddlers will be held at Meadow Park. The race is scheduled for Sunday, open to all levels of paddlers, include a 20K, 10K, and 5K canoe or kayak, tandem or solo races. The Kids Fun Paddle is free for 12-year-olds and under and begins at 11 a.m. The 20K race begins at 7 a.m., followed by the 10K at 8 a.m. The 5K event starts at 10 a.m. For additional information about Paddle Fest, including registration details, visit the Open Air Big Bear website. Paddle Fest is sponsored by North Shore Training Company in Fonskin. Supplemental military leave benefits for some 21 county employees had been extended by the County Board of Supervisors through June 29th of next year. California law allows employees to be paid their regular salary during the first 30 days of their military service. Since October 2001, the county has been offering employees on active duty paid leave time equal to the difference between their base county and base military pay and continuation of full benefits after their 30-day entitlement under state law. The program, which has benefited about 235 employees over the years, will cost the county just over $600,000 this next year. Thank you for watching. For breaking news and other stories, visit ROTWnews.com. Michael P. Neufeld reporting.